All right, guys, something a little bit different today. We are at Alana's dad's house, if you can see stuff in the background. We are using the power system in the RAM um, to power our new little car share. Um, so we bought this little bad boy here, little car share mini, because um, we wanted a little traveling gurney. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a new little product for us. Um, but we, what are we doing today? We are doing the tinny. So the tinny has like a lot of oxidization um a lot of red dirt a lot of yeah she's just yeah, she's not looking nice she's not looking like she was um i've already done half the tinny as you can kind of see there in the background uh, because i just wanted to see how it was going to work before i recorded it and um yeah wanted to put my name behind these products um but yeah let's we'll get into it i'll uh do this other side i'll show you how we're doing it i'll bring the products over that we're using um yeah we'll yeah if you got any questions about it though, chuck them, you know, you know the drill, chuck them down in the comments, any questions or queries. Um, but I should cover pretty much everything we're using today. But what we are doing is we are cleaning an aluminium hull. So we're going to be taking all the oxidization, the red dirt, the just excuse my French, but the shit that's stuck to the aluminium um, from about two years of being on the roof, on and off the roof and, and everything like that. Look at that other side, you can already see how shiny it is. Anyway guys, I'll set this camera up and let's get into it. All right, guys, so products we are using are from Om Omicron products. Um, we're using the Oxyblast. That is a very um, heavy-duty acid-based cleaner. And then we've got this one here as well, which is Mag Magic. So it's still an acid-based cleaner. However, it's fine to use on all, like, your rims, um, as, as the name says. Um, yeah, it's it's you can use it on your rims. And what did it say? It's... Yeah, you can use it on your rims and, and like chassis and all those types of, but, um, but you got to remember they are acid based. So you got to watch them on paints. Um, you know, yeah, you, you can't let them dry is what I'm getting at because they dry and you get run marks, which we you can kind of see a couple little run marks down here on the back of that. But other than that, she's pretty good. But yeah, so you don't let them dry. This one, yeah, is, is not as harsh. So this one I, I'd use on the ram in certain places. Um, this one here, the Oxy Blast. This is like, yeah, this is for this. This is your hard ones. This is what like truckies use and that on their fuel tanks and everything like that. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, hopefully you can hear me all right because I am recording on a phone today. But yeah, so pretty much we're gonna we're gonna use the spray bottle. I'm gonna wet this, but you're gonna start from the bottom. We do about I don't know, about a meter section at a time, and it will spray along like this, working our way up to the top. We'll let it. Um, do its thing. You'll see when I do it, it'll like froth up and go white. Let it like eat into it for a little bit, and then um, I've got this little scrubber which I'll grab, and we just give it a little scrub, 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 and then after that, we use the gurney to gurney it off and not leave any on. Speaking of uh, gurneys, we've got the new Kasha Mini. This thing is sick. Oh, I turned the power off. <laughs> So not only is this little thing awesome, but um, we're running it off the canopy. So we've, um, yeah, we've got it hooked onto our external 240 plug on the back of the canopy, and it's running off our inner drive setup. Um, that whole other side in the back, gurning, everything like that, I think I used like 2% of my battery, which is, yeah, it's awesome. And yeah, let's get into it. So we'll weather it up. I just like to put a bit of water on there just so I know it's not going to dry as quick. Um, so yeah, so this is the little scrubber I got from Bunnings. Works well. So we'll start on the top. So like I said, I'm going to spray, working my way along about a metre area at a time because I don't want to go too far. And yeah, we'll let that... Um, Give it a couple of seconds as you can see it's starting to froth up so it's doing its thing it's eating away at, at all the crap that's there uh, there's a run so we might get some marks on the back but hey it happens then we'll give it a little scrub please be careful when using this stuff i should uh i'll put my sunnies on good old ppe i actually funny thing is i actually did buy ppe for this like some gloves and stuff like that but yeah oh well. All 
Right, so there's the first, first go at it. I'm being cautious, I'm not leaving it sit on there for too long because, yeah, I don't want to stuff it. Yeah, look at that difference. Like that is, oh yeah, you can see it in that camera angle. It's just, yeah, <laughs> you can tell that it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, and then, yeah, I've been, I've been going over it actually with a little bit of mag magic, just to, to get those little harder spots, which you think I'd do it the other way, but for the, the other one's actually a harsher one. We'll let it just eat into it a little bit more this time. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good shot actually doing the side. You'll see a massive difference in a second because I'll, I'll do from there across. Get into this bottom one. The water's yeah, pretty much gone. So we'll spray along. Let it sit and do its thing. And yeah, I'm going over the stickers. I didn't know if it would um, harm them. It didn't harm the ones on the other side, so I'm assuming it's not going to harm these ones. So hopefully. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty simple job. It's not hard. <laughs> like yeah, you can, you can see that distinct line there. This stuff, this yeah, it's working a treat. I'm loving it um and yeah i just i don't know why i'm doing it like this i just this is how i started it and it's it's come up good so and then i'm yeah start from the bottom and i've been going over it with the mag magic which i find just takes all those last little those last little bits out if i miss anything um yeah you don't have to use the two products and go over it twice or you could you could probably just go over it again with the Alxy Blast. Um, but hey, this is the way I started doing it. So I guess this is what's working for me. Funny thing was, I was actually going to wrap this tinny. Might still do it, but I was going to wrap it just to just because I didn't like the way it was looking. But um, yeah, after doing this, I don't even know if I'm gonna need to wrap it. Like it looks pretty good. So 
yeah, as you can see from there, pretty much. Um, yeah, I'm not proud of this, but hey, what I've done, started at the bottom, way, worked my way up, spraying it, let it sit, let it do its thing, give it a scrub, um, and then I've been going over it a second time just to get any of the last imperfections out of it. Um, yeah, so I'll keep on recording, but I'm going to get into it now and just do the rest of this thing and get it done because we've got um, other places to be today. But um, hey, watch along, and at the end, I'll give you a little bit of a run around and a spill. Alright guys, so there's the tinny done. I'm actually going to get the mangrove jack trailer now and give it a quick go as well. And then we'll flip it over and we're going to do some, I suppose what you, not as harsh, like we're just going to do the top rails and everything like that afterwards. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright guys, so as you can see, this trailer has seen better days. There's red dirt and aluminium scuffs and yeah, there's crap all over it really when you think about it. Alright, so... Let's see, um, I guess we'll start off with the, the harsher product. Let's, um, hopefully you can see this, I'll move the camera. So we'll start off on that tire there. There you can see it's just covered in red dust and grease and everything.
Mind you, I'd like to add, I've, I've tried cleaning this trailer now, I don't know how many times since we came out of the Cape. It'd be at least three or four times. And there you go, one hit with the Oxy and she's pretty much brand new. So, let's get into it. Once again, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Only do enough that you can manage while it's wet. Not gonna lie, this would probably be easier if the trailer was apart in its sections. Um, however, yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit of a time constraint today. And I'm not expecting this to come up perfect anyway. That's pretty damn good. So there you go guys, look at this, proof's in it. If we come down here, that was both sides before. Look at that, clean as a whistle. Almost looks like brand new. <laughs> and then yeah, that's what it did look like. It's hard to see because it's light, but yeah.
All right, guys, so there you go. The um, Mag Magic from Omnicron and the uh, Oxy Blast, definitely well worthwhile purchasing if you want to clean your tinny or your mangrove drag trailer or with this one here, any of your rims or any under your chassis, you get any of that red dirt off. As you can see, it's ripped it back off these. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna, gonna flip it over, chuck it back into storage and continue on with what we're doing. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got something out of it and then see you the next time.